Hey there everyone, this is Yui. Welcome to episode 1 of Sky Factory 4. Today we're going to get through some of the basics, so let's get to it. Now, I made a hardcore world with prestige enabled, so I have to unlock all this stuff. I have not played with this in a long time. Last time I played with it was probably close to when it first came out. Project E wasn't in here. All these Ocean effects were not in here. I don't even believe ore excavation was locked behind something. So, yeah. We'll see how it goes. Uh, our quest book is actually going to be the advancement system. So, we're going to get through some of these. Well, we'll start on the, uh, the basics. Which means since we don't have ore excavation... Let's see, do we have a crook? I didn't really check what mods were in here. Yeah. So ideally, I believe it's get yourself a crafting table. Well, we have tinkers. And get yourself some sticks. Get yourself a crook. There we go. And... Go to town. And we got a sapling. So we're good. Don't have to restart. Ooh, another one. Give me that. Oh man, I hate not having ore excavation. I'm just gonna... Since we have a couple saplings. I don't particularly care about the rest. Oh no, there's no fast leaf decay either. Ah, uh, okay. So, this is what you start with in a hardcore world. Which means, I believe, we need to give ourselves a little right click there. And you'll see the little, the little particles going in there. As the pig runs, it has power. This will generate us a secondary body. This pressure plate, I believe, is useless. But, you know, we'll deal with that later. Alright, so I am not one of those people who are ashamed of doing bottom slab platforms. So, I will be doing so. I'm just going to expand this out. Just a little bit. Let's, let's cover little piggy up. Look at him go. You run there. Forever. Be careful not to hit your pig if you're doing the same world. It, it's not good for him. He'll get knocked off. Alright, what do we got? Do we got twerk? Drop the hold shift. Hold? No. Press. Okay, yep. Yeah. It's it's the torquing one. You gotta press it. So I am going to farm a bunch of this wood up just to get started. And expand this platform out to a two by two chunk probably. Or well, hang on actually. Let's see how far cobble is. I did not check the quests. Alright, so we have dirt. Yeah, petrified's next, so let's just work on that. I would much rather have a stone ground. Oh, not escape. Let's see here. Petrified. Is going to be a drying rack. All right. Let's make. Ah, uh, yeah, whatever. Three's good. Yeah, see, because this needs to be green for that to work. So I believe you need a lever. One, two. Yeah, sure. 
Looks ugly. We'll just get some of this out. But yeah, it's been such a long time since I played this pack. Back when the para box was uh not the greatest. But looking at it now says you could give it things such as singularities for three points per loop. But it says you can reduce the time required, which was the problem with it a long time ago. If anyone actually played with it that long ago. I'm just going to put a bunch of these. So I guess let me farm up some of these dirt trees. Get, uh, oop. give me that back. There we go. And get some of these petrify things going, and I'll be back in a moment. All right, got my things. Got just a little bit of wood. So I believe it was that. Yep, yeah. dirt sapling surrounded by acorns. Get us the petrified one. I made an extra dirt block here. What else do we got to do? Rushing tub. Eat. Uh, cooked dirt acorn. Okay. Once I get some, some cobble. Oh, these these crooks. When they get low on durability, you can just repair them with sticks, which is pretty nice. So you don't have to keep making a ton of them. Oh, this is so much slower without a wear excavation. I am so not used to punching trees down one log at a time. Alright, well, you can do that. There we go. I believe... There we go. We've got a piece of cobblestone. So I am going to do this a bunch more times and make a large platform and I'll be back in a while. Alright, I changed my mind. It is taking way too long. So let's just move on with... Because I want to get the clay guy going. Let's see. Clay. Oh, look at this. It's preloaded with a bunch of stuff. So the first time we need to do this. Let's get a clay. Because with clay, unless they change the recipe for bonsai trees, or is that... Yeah, it's the hopping that's locked behind it. So we're good there. Because I am perfectly fine with that. We'll do that. So in the meantime, let's make a furnace. Let's throw this. So, oh, yeah, sure. And I have way too many saplings. So two should be one. Grow up. Do it. Eat the green dust. All right. We have clay. See, this is so exciting. Mashing leaves with sticks. I hate the beginning. But luckily you don't have to get too terribly far to resolve that issue. So let's just tear this tree down. How you doing? We got tiny charcoal? Yes we do. 
enjoy. Oh, so our body finished. Which means let's make a crate. Because I believe actually additions is in here. No, it's not. Really? Uh, so what do we get? Anything good? No, nothing good. Oh, well. There you go. You can hide behind some shit. Oh, it looked like you stopped running for a second. I can't sh space click in. Okay, take off all your stuff. Oh, wait, we need a lever. Take a lever. We'll go on top. Boom. Now this is always on. So we should be able to step in here. And then it'll look like this. Just mouse wheel, or not mouse wheel, but move your mouse up. It'll, or pretty much any direction. It'll pick that other body. And there we go. So we have a backup body in case we die. Yeah, it's pretty grim, but then we can start the process over. This body will maintain its inventory, which is why I dumped everything off to begin with. So even though this is hardcore mode, it is, you know, technically very forgiving. Alright, what were we doing? Clay. Can we make clay yet? What do we need? Yeah, looks good. Does this convert over? Okay. So, let's farm up just a little more clay. Actually, you know what? What we're going to do is make... Is all the Tinker stuff the same? Tinker... We need... Pattern. That looks fine. Alright, let's try it. I'm going to start with eight. I don't know if that's going to be enough, too much, whatever. Make a crafting table. Let's make a chest. All right. Pattern. Tool station. Stencil. And part builder. And so I don't have to move this guy just yet. I'm going to make another crafting station. And there's just not much room to begin with. I'm going to put them in the ground here. Tool. Art. There we go. Uh, the important thing here, remember, is that the stencil table and the part builder should be adjacent to your pattern chest. Other than that, they just need to be touching on one of the sides. Yeah, we're, we're going to need a lot more. Well, I'll be back in a second. All right, I got all my patterns made up. I noticed at the bottom here there are the Tinker's Armory stuff, or Armory Construct, whatever you call it. Constructs Armory. There we go. Which means we need... Excuse me, you are in the way. One more crafting table. And this one we surround with patterns. Get us the station. I'm just going to drop it right here for now. Alright, so... We don't need a whole lot to start. 
So I'm going to make a Maddox and a pickaxe. Ah, you know what? I might as well just make my sword as well. We'll do... Yeah, sure. Wood. Need a sword. We'll be at a cobble. And a pickaxe is going to be cobble. Right? We need a comma also. The much overlooked comma. Means we need two tool bindings. There we go. Is that everything? It might be. Alright, you, you. Pickaxe. Um, uh, which acts like shears if you didn't know, and I didn't make that head. Yeah, no. This is going to be wood. We'll upgrade it later. And a sword. There we go. Now I got some tools. Let's see if you just boom, you should get the leaves. Not that we need the leaves. All right, so what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to make a bunch more clay up and start making the bonsai trees just to farm up some stone. Right? Let's see, real quick. Clay was a block. Acorns. Oh, it's so slow. Yeah, because five. Oh, look at that. Just in time. Uh, five of these. I'm going to say six, but there's still a partial left. All right, once we get our five bricks, we need dirt. We have some. Yeah, not a lot of room. We'll get there. Don't worry. The beginning's just a tiny bit on the slow side. Let's make some armor too. Which is going to be made out of wood. Don't forget your... Oh. There. So you need the core. You need four of the trims and four of the plates. All of this is just going to be made out of wood for now. It is going to offer horrendous protection. There you go. One and a half. You can go away for now. Alright, so these. Put it down. Put in a piece of dirt. Put in the sapling you want, which I'll start with clay. Can we... No. At one point or another, you used to be able to, like, twerk for the trees. That was a long time ago, I think. But once it gets to 100%, we'll just let it go for a second. Drop off some of this other random stuff. We good? Looks good. 
95 and 100 so once it hits 100 it'll just stay like that right click it with your mattock or a hatchet and it'll start over so i am going to do this a bunch more times because this to me is much more sanity saving than you know breaking down trees without ore excavation and then i'll be back all right so i've had enough farming for now i made a ton of bonsai trees look at them all i didn't get very far but you know uh, i'm just gonna wait till i get the hopping bonsai trees so let's move on i made an acorn eating dirt yum yum so let's see here we need to do bone gravel bucket let's see is bucket the same looks good all right well uh, gravel what's gravel take brushing all right make one of those oh, need some more slabs so they have these uh they're not super great but they have these crates from barrels, drum storage, and more. I've made a few of those up to put my wood in because I've got so much of it. What's that? Over 3,000 wood now. Alright, so with our crushing bin, I'm just going to drop it back here. Oh, look, it's raining. It hasn't been raining any, and now it just starts. Can we make a... No. No cauldron or something, I guess. All right, we need. What do we need? We need a petrified. And then you jump on it. All right. What sapling did I need? Petrified also. You can go here. Who's next? Bone. Bone and con. No, there's see there is a cauldron. Cauldron. So we're gonna probably need that to get water, I imagine. Gosh, I feel so cramped already. Do you collect water? Nope. That's okay. You don't need to. I think we can give it leaves. Right. Water. Where is water? Collect rainwater in a cauldron or by jumping saplings in a crushing tub. So this should be collecting water. Hmm. Let's make another crushing tub. And it said saplings. This. Ten. Hang on here. So if we go one... to slab that's a little faster okay we got water where's that bucket do 
What are you waiting for? The puns are real. I love it. Now we got so much to do. Need to get through all this junk before we can make a, uh, what do you call it? A hopping bonsai tree. Okay, bone meal is petrified. Bone, we get gravel. So we need to put this guy to work. The easiest way to start that off is probably going to be manually growing one. It's not exciting doing it manually, and it takes forever, but you have a tendency to get more ambers doing it by hand, like this, and you get more acorns doing it in a bonsai tree. And you get more saplings doing it this way too, which is what I want. I want some saplings. So keep that in mind. If you want to get more saplings or ambers, do it by hand a few times. If you want more acorns, then, you know, feel free to throw it in a bonsai tree. Clear that out, and that. Gravel. Alright, so we're going to need... What is it, one to one? No, one to three. So we're going to need three pieces of gravel. So, I'll be back in a moment, then, once I get my gravel. Alright, so I got a few pieces of gravel. These uh, cauldrons do actually fill up over time. It's just that it takes them a while. So we should be able to, was it just right click? Yeah. This three is all we need to get started. Make a bone, bone sapling with a petrified. Don't do that. I heard that. Let's clear out some more of these. Get the sapling out, you just right click again. Alright. So much junk. We really need to get into some sort of storage system soon. Which I think we can once we get iron. Man, this, this weather. Alright. What's next? Cottonwood. Sand. And cool. Okay. Sand is easy. We just need... Where's my other one? There it is. Was it petrified? Or is it gravel? There we go. You go there. Oh, why is it gotta be raining? Shush! So noisy! Cotton takes jungle mud. Okay. This, that, clay.
Vines are drying a jungle. Make sure if you make a jungle sapling, or pretty much any sapling you ever make, make sure you just get a spare in a bonsai tree. That way you don't have to make them again. Okay. That'll make that. What about coal? Birch. Sand. Sand I don't have yet. So, I suppose that's an okay place to leave off then. I'll just grind this stuff up between episodes. That way we have a nice dash of, uh... Oh, here. There's an extra one. Of saplings and things. So, yeah. That's it for this episode, then. So if you made it this far, thanks for watching. And, uh, sorry this one's a bit boring, but it's the start of a sky block, so there's not going to be a whole lot to do. Anyways, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.